Hello everybody and welcome to Surely You Know What by Now. This uh, originally landed on Try Fantastic Danmaku Festival again. So I tried it for a bit and did look way worse than I did the first time. Like, seriously. So I replaced it with Fighting Game Story, so... You know, that's there now. My god, don't you dare. I was going to be minorly upset if it landed on that, because I just tried a bullet hell game for a while and could not get through it. I don't want any more of that shit. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome to Fantasy Made in War Scarlet, the game which has a folder on my computer that I somehow accidentally managed to call Fantasy Made in War Scarlet, like without the T. Great job, me. Uh, none of the buttons are working. Oh, that's right. The game forces you to unplug your controller if you have one just to be able to do anything. I forgot I tested that out and that was the case. It doesn't even register as soon as I unplug it. Now I have to restart the game. For some reason. Apparently this game thinks it's illegal to have a controller. It's not even that the controller works. I mean, I would understand at least a little bit if it just forced me to use the controller or something. Like, oh, you have a controller plugged in, that'll be how you control the game. Only actually responding to the keyboard if you don't have a controller. That's poor design, but at least understandable. But not even the controller buttons work when I have the controller plugged in. It's weird, I don't get it. Was well, there anything interesting in option? I have no idea how this game works, but we'll just have to see. You know what, let's do a change of pace. It do something that's a little bit unexpected. Sure. Ah, oh god, what should I pick? I don't even know what SRPG stands for. I mean, the RPG part I can get but this one implies that I won't enjoy the game if I don't play it on this difficulty. You know what, I, I've maybe seen like one or two screenshots of this game, and I'm pretty sure I've played games similar to this. Yes, let's go. It's one of those ones where you have like a bunch of units and move them around and stuff, right? So this is interesting so far. It's got a neat little like story and everything.
Actually, the only thing you're going to become known for is being a thief. Don't just eat mushrooms in the wild. Yeah, good thing she was here, you would have died. Oh boy, this looks like gameplay.
Yeah, considering it seems you're like miles apart from each other. people. Hmm, let me see. Can I find anything out about you by looking at you? Well, I can see how far you can go. Oh, I can see stats, too. Ah. Okay. Yeah, let's start battle, why not? Oh, get destroyed. Love the animations in this.
What's the difference between attack and start battle? Oh, it changes the attack. That's two down. Now we're going to continue to pass. Ah, I see. So you can either counterattack, try to defend to take less damage, or try to evade to take no damage at all. Yeah, no, I'm going to attack straight back. I mean, their shift varies. Because you're always attacking people. You ever stop to think about that? What is that noise? Okay. I swear, everything in the world likes to get in the background of my recordings. I like the generated dialogue. Yeah, see you next week when you inevitably annoy us again. Because fairies. It's kind of what you do.
I'm going to try to play this smart. accuracy on both sides. I was already planning out my next turn, but guess I don't need to reduce your health to zero. I assume this invention is worth it. Oh hey, it's you. Well, you could say that she has a shell on her back. It's just more like a backpack filled with everything.
ha. Well, you gotta be polite if you ever want business. Even if you absolutely hate the customer's guts. Because it's been like three hours and they haven't left. Ha. Huh. Clever. Very clever. I don't know what... oh. Q and W, that's our one to do, apparently. I I'm sorry, but what? Wife level? <laughs> what? Wife. <laughs> 